Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday morning, June the 30th. Our scripture reading for today is Psalm 31 through Psalm 35. Let's pray together. Our God and King, we thank You for a lovely day that You've given us. We ask, Father, for Your blessings today. We pray, Father, that as we study Your Word and read through these Psalms, Father, I just ask for Your, your guidance. Help us to understand. Help us to, uh, Father, sing these songs together. So thank You for what You do in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so in Psalm 31, what we have is a plea for protection. Uh, Lord, I seek refuge in you. Let me never be disgraced. For you are my rock and my fortress. You lead and guide me for your name's sake. The course of my life is in your power. Make your face shine on your servant. In Psalm 32, it's about the joy of forgiveness. How joyful is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered, when the Lord does not change, char one whom the Lord does not charge with iniquity. I acknowledge my sin to you, and, I, and you forgive the guilt of my sin. Do not be like a horse or a mule without understanding. Many pains come to the wicked, but the one who trusts in the Lord will have faithful love surrounding him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous ones. Shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Psalm 33. Praise to the Creator. Rejoice in the Lord. Sing a new song to Him. For the, Lord, for the word of the Lord is right and all His work is trustworthy. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the Lord's unfailing love. For He spoke, and it came into being. He commanded, and it came into existence. The Lord keeps His eye on those who fear Him. May Your faithful love rest on us, Lord, for we put our hope in You. In Psalm 34, He delivers the righteous. Proclaim the Lord's greatness with me. Let us exalt His name together. Taste and see that the Lord is good. How happy is the person who takes refuge in Him. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Keep your tongue from evil. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The face of the Lord is set against those who do what is evil. The Lord is near the brokenhearted. He saves the crushed in spirit. The Lord redeems the life of His servants, and all who take refuge in Him will not be punished. Psalm 35 is a prayer for victory. Let those who intend to take my life be disgraced and humiliated. I will rejoice in the Lord. I will delight in His deliverance. I will praise You in the great assembly. I will exalt You among many people. Lord, do not be far from me. Vindicate me, Lord my God, in keeping with Your righteousness. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness, your, your praise, all day long. Okay, let me get to our thought for today. Unwavering confidence in God results in a spontaneous spirit of gratitude and praise regardless of circumstances. And Christ has revealed in the prophecy that not one of His bones would be broken, recorded, as recorded concerning His crucifixion as Psalm 34, 20. These things were done that the Scriptures should be fulfilled. A bone of Him shall not be broken. John 19, 36. God bless you. Have a great day.